This is your guy Z Fly. Y'all know what time it is. It's time to get hot in the mix right now. I got some friends on the side of me, but right. But before I tell you who they are, just let you know we are here at the Plix Fashion Week, right here at the Pennsylvania Hotel. We've been hanging out. We've been doing our thing. I got some great hosts on the side of me. His name is. I'm Giovanni, and what's up, guys? You can follow me at Giovanni dot BD. That is G I O V A N N I period B E A T T Y. Okay, and we have. What's up, guys and dolls? I am Vicky J, and you can follow me on all social media platforms at Hey It's underscore Vicky J, and that is Vicky with two eyes and not an I E. That's what's up. And as y'all know, I'm your guy Z Fly. You can follow me at I am Z Fly or on the business page at Real Hot Fresh. Now, to just let y'all know, we have really seen a lot of fashions today. You know, we've been backstage. We've definitely been hot in the mix. Victoria, what are some of the fashions that you enjoy seeing today? Well, I have seen quite a few designers, but my all-time favorite was definitely the one that we just saw. It was the evening attire, in which I actually saw a print of this color, but it was red. So, I'm definitely getting the dress in red now. Okay, no, that's right. Not red instead. <laughs> and Giovanni, now, this is Plix Fashion Week. So, you know, just like seeing the energy, seeing the people, like, how do you think everybody is actually feeling? I think everyone's feeling just excited to be here it's it's this like it's this sort of energy that we're all like feeding off of each other from and it, especially from the models because when they walk out you see them strut their stuff and it's like it's exciting for them and for us to just watch them do it so i i'm definitely feeling the energy and and in here it's good vibes so it's nice. And now I heard through the grapevine that this is your first New York City Fashion Week. Yes. So how is this experience just for you? It's crazy. It, it really is because I've never done anything like this before and it's just, it's wild. It really is. I love it. It's awesome. Yeah. yeah. And everybody, and my girl over here, Victoria, she's actually from Miami and you've been in Miami Fashion Week, right? So now how does New York Fashion Week and Miami Fashion Week, how does it compare? Although they are two major different cities, um, New York is definitely giving off a vibe that is incomparable. I love Miami. It's home for me, Broward County. But I'm riding with Miami on the energy tonight. Oh, yeah. Whatever the day I'm. Now, Giovanni, and as you know, me and you both seen a lot of, like, you know, out there risque ensembles for men. Anything that, that you've seen that you will wear yourself? Uh, let's see. Um... Well, I, I saw this one shirt that uh, it was it was kind of a blazer, but it was it was like a sweater with like cut off, and I, I just saw that for like I was like, hey, that'd be a cool party outfit. Who knows? Something like going out, going to the club. I don't so, something that's like different. It's unique. You've never seen it before. So exactly. Something like that. Yeah, I like that kind of stuff. So it's cool. And you can definitely catch that at the Plitz hotel right here i mean that's fashion week at the pennsylvania hotel so definitely keep it locked because we got so much more coming up you know i'm your guy z fly and you are now hot in the mix
What's up, everybody? Y'all know that when it comes to fashion, you have many outer wear, inner wear, all kinds of wear. But the best wear I like is the sexy wear. And Miss Donna is bringing the sexy back in her, in her collection. Donna, what is it called? Fashion by Donna. Fashion by Donna. Now, we saw it. Actually, these are, these are some of your lines. Now, tell us what is, what is unique about your collection. Well, I like to use the incorporation of lace. I also incorporated pleather into it, which not many designers like to use both fabric all in once. I do not have the example right here then, but I wish I could show you. No problem, no problem. Now, what made you want to do something like, you know, like a lingerie type of line? The thing is, I was kind of afraid okay. of entering this type of lingerie world. I'm more into evening wear. I started evening wear when I was like 18, since there's like a high demand on prom dresses and usually teenagers and high school students would want those. But since it's something that I usually never thought of making, I decided to throw it as my first fashion line. Exactly. Well, you, you definitely did it right. Now, whenever you know that there's other collections out there like a Victoria's Secret, how does yours stand out, you know, far from a Victoria's Secret and other lines that are lingerie? I call this collection Outright. I mainly use the two colors, black and white. And when you see Victoria's Secret, you see all those colors, especially right. red into them. Right. Oh, I, I, I'm not right. <laughs> 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 okay, so definitely, let's, let's, let's look at, um, let's, do, let's do a little model turn in the models. Okay. So now, now you know, in, in the world that we're in now, you know, women empowerment and everything, how would you, what, what message do your um, design send to women as far as empowerment? Be comfortable with your body yeah. and be, <laughs> you know, be comfortable in your own skin because these days everybody is afraid to show off exactly. who they really are. Exactly. And you have a lot, a lot of things for men too. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay, now ladies, now you actually out, out there on the runway walking in these great designs. How do you feel? Do you feel empowered? Do you feel confident? Most definitely. I feel like you don't necessarily need less clothes to feel empowered, but when you do feel comfortable in your own body and a way to express yourself with less clothes, you feel 10 times more powerful as a woman. You get to speak your own mind and then you just leave that stage feeling like empowered. So it's just like it's, you're sending out a message to females that no matter what weight you are, no matter what size you are, small, 5'10", 6 feet, it doesn't matter what ethnicity you are, color, you should be yourself no matter what. How about you? With me, I feel strong. I feel I feel confident. I, I love the designs. And same thing with her strong. And very strong. All right, now Donna, I might I might need one a little short, you know, a little pleather short she had. <laughs> but definitely let everybody know where can they find your social media? Well it's fashionbydana.com. Spell F A S S I O N B Y D A N A. I also have Instagram and a Facebook page. Okay. All right, guys and ladies, this is your girl Donna. She is hooking you up in the bedroom looking sexy. <laughs> Don't go anywhere. This is because Z Fly, we're hot in the mix.
still here at the Blitz Fashion Week at the Pennsylvania Hotel. I have Miss Katie on the side of me. And Katie, what is the, your name, the, the name of your line? The name of my line is Katie Rose Ladiva. Okay. Now tell us a little bit about what does your line consist of? Okay, my line is uh, African Ankara and uh, European. Yeah, that's what I design. Sounds very nice. Now, I I really I saw some of your your um colors. You have a lot of red. You have a lot of green. Is that is it usually bright colors or is it kind of you know kind of toned down or just? Yeah, um, it depends. You know, at the season, like uh, sometimes, like uh, in winter, I go sometimes with little bit with the winter and mix with uh, fall or or. or how to call or summer yeah. sometimes I go with uh, you know what color the new color sometimes people are like this year is red the next year is blue so I go it like that okay. to show people more color and more things. exactly now now you said it's more of, of like an African line now where are you from I'm from West Africa Senegal okay. yes and over here in the New York City showing your line now how long have you been designing Oh, I've been designed since I was back home, since I was very young, wow. and I kind of stopped when I get to this country, like in 1997. But uh, recently, 2016, when my daughter started modeling, I get back to work wow. to do what I love. Exactly. Yeah. Now, Katie, now you definitely put your heart into your um your designs. Now, a collection like this, how long does it take to um finish? Oh, because I work by myself, so it take like a little while. Yeah, it, it takes a little while, but I work by myself. But. Exactly. Now, whenever you put on these shows and, you know, you have your models and everything, do you, what, what type of challenges, if any, do you face? Um, sometimes, you know, it depends to, like, sometimes they... I ask for the model I ask. Sometimes they give me the wrong model. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> the right model, you know. Yeah, but, you know, at the end of the day, we put everything together yes. and we work it up like a diva. Uh, yeah. well, I love it. I love it. They loved it too. So definitely let everybody know where can they find you. And also, you know, th this is Winter Fashion Week. Will you be here for Fall Fashion Week? Of course. I am ready. Oh, no, that's right. Let them know where they can find you, social media. Yeah, you can go to Instagram, KD Roseboro, or you can go to Facebook, KD Rose La Diva. Yeah, or my website, KD Rose La Diva. Y'all heard that. Y'all better follow Katie. You know what I'm saying? Get some of these collections and lines she got. I'm your guy Z-Fly here at the Plitz Fashion Week. Don't go anywhere. More to come. What's up, everybody? Still hot in the midst. Plitz Fashion Week. I am backstage having a great time. Let me tell you something. Y'all already know. Fashion show, designers. You know, you had the co co coordinators, makeup artists. But what would a fashion show be without the models who were in the fashion? How you doing, Mr. Hart? How you doing, sir? What's going on, Z-Like? How are you? Good. Now we have Mr. Tyler on the side of me, right? Yes, that's right, Tyler Lloyd. Okay, now, now, now Tyler, now you are you are a VIP because you've been almost in every collection that's been shown, right? It's been a long day today. <laughs> uh, today I worked for six different designers since nine in the morning, just back to back. Right. I'm literally on like one meal throughout the whole day. I usually <laughs> usually take in five, so today's been rough. Now let me ask you a question. So now, whenever you are on the runway like this, you know lights, camera, action. Like, how do you keep the energy up? Like, how do you just keep the mo the momentum going? Well, to be honest, as soon as I walk out, just hearing everyone's gasps and everyone's reactions to when I go out, I feel like that's what fires me and keeps yeah. me going. You know, mm -hmm. it's literally like an adrenaline rush, and uh, I could literally be on no meals, zero energy, and just as soon as I walk out, I'm on a hundred. Exactly. Okay, now, now, ladies, now I'm pretty sure you saw Tyler. He goes out a lot with his shirt off. So whenever you do hear these gaps and like cameras, you know, people just kind of stopping the presses. How to make you like? It's gotta be a good feeling. It, it's it's an amazing feeling because I do work very hard on my you know my body, my health, my well being. So to hear people's reactions when I first come out, when they first see me, it's right. it's definitely a good feeling. Right, right, right. Okay, so this is New York City Fashion Week. You're here at the Plitz on Fashion Week. What's what's up and coming for you? Um, well, I want to focus more on the fitness industry of modeling. Um, hopefully, be on a couple of magazines, 2019. So we'll see where it goes. We're taking it day by day, staying focused, and uh, I'll definitely be back next year. Sounds good. Now let everybody know where they can find you. What's that social media? Uh, my Instagram is rsvp.xo. Uh, once again, rsvp.xo. You're welcome. I'm your guy Z5. You know you're hot in the midst. Keep a lot more to come.